All right, guys, we're going to go over how to set, a, set up a whisper list in TeamSpeak. So uh, just starting the stream there. you got to load up TeamSpeak first off. Either have your wheel or button box, whatever you're planning to use, um, to be able to use another key to whisper to the driver committee members. So um, basically real simple. Just load up TeamSpeak. Um, you can go to Tools. You can go to options or you can go straight to whisper list. Either one works. Um, we're going to go to whisper list to start first and uh, then we'll go through another thing. So I'm going to remove this because I've already created one um, to test it. So I'm going to remove it right now. And we're going to start over. So um, right here you have a synchronized whisper list. This is going to show up if you sign in to TeamSpeak and keep a kind of a, a cloud based server availability. Um, local whisper list this will create here if you don't sign in basically to TeamSpeak so it doesn't matter which way it goes really the big thing here you want to start right down here and click on the new it is then going to ask you to select a hot key that you want to use to um, talk to the other drivers committee members so um, in my case I'm actually going to use a button on my wheel so I have that plugged in and everything right now and I'm going to hit that button and so when I hit that button and it already says there's a key binding already bound. That's because I've already created it. So I'm going to choose yes. I'm going to overwrite that basically. Um, so it's going to come up and it's going to actually show up here for me. It'll probably show up down here for you if you're not signed into it. Um, whisper to clients and channels. This is what we're going to select. And then you're going to, I've kind of drugged my window a little bit bigger. So I made it a little bit bigger and move this right here to, to be able to see things a little easier. Um, but all you're gonna have to do, once you've got your hotkey selected, you're gonna click on your the Wicked Chassis Racing or whatever um, server you're in, really. I mean, you can do this for anything other than us. So um, you're gonna click this, you're gonna choose clients, or you can look by channel and see who's in what channel and select by there. I'm just gonna look at clients and it shows me everybody that's connected. So uh, very simple, I'm gonna click Jeff and I'm gonna drag him to the center box here and I'm going to click auto to click him into our whisper. So once I've done that, I'm going to choose apply and I'm going to just hit OK. And what that's going to do is now that I've closed that is it's going to set up a whisper key. Now what you're going to see happen, I'm going to try to show you here. So if you watch my screen here, right where I am at on my name, you're going to see that my button when I talk right now will light up blue like this. That's just meaning that you're talking in the chat as normal, nothing different. When I use the other button I'm gonna, on my wheel that I've set up for my whisper, you're going to see this light up red. So here we go. So now it lights up red, but if you see up here under Jeff and Otto's name, it shows red dots right next to them showing that I'm talking to them in a whisper. So that's simply the easiest part to it. So you're almost done at this point. Um, Jeff informed me that it uh, creates a little psh sound kind of like a, someone's trying to whisper to you. Um, so what I found out is um, there is a setting and you can go to your options, so tools and then options. And then right here, there's a whisper area. So it shows you permission for received whispers. Um, I just have that select to this portion, setting for received whispers. So I've uh, turned these off. So um, basically that way, anytime someone whispers to you, you're not hearing a psh, psh, or it's not popping up a window on TeamSpeak that says your whisper history. So um, I've turned those both off just to make it easier on myself personally and not have to worry about it. Um, and it says remove clients and whisper history after five minutes. That's just your whisper history. You don't need to worry about anything there. So once you do that, hit OK, and then that should do it. And I should be able to talk to the guys above here in the... WCR chat and they're hearing everything I'm saying right now so and that is what we will use to communicate in TeamSpeak uh, while we're in the races uh, instead of using the in-game race chat so it'll be a little easier and uh, hopefully we can get everything across no matter what so uh, if you have any questions hit me up on messenger uh, or the Northwest Racing Admin group chat or find me in TeamSpeak when I'm here and just Hit me up and I'll, I'll come in and walk you through it if you need the extra help. 
But uh, other than that, we'll see you guys in the next vid.